Millennium Dance Sport Championship 2022. Finally, we're here backstage. We have them for an interview, guys. Fantastic show. Thank Thank you. You, you are done. <laughs> we are done for now. We're just getting started in general, but we're done for tonight. So how did it feel tonight? Uh, I know it was today was for you the busiest day. How was it? Um, it was a mixture of a lot of emotions, I must say, and I must be frank. We were super excited for our rumba, especially because that was the first the second time that it was going to be out. It's a new show with a very grand music. It's a, okay. yeah, it was a very, very grand music for us, which we've been waiting to do for a while. So that was a mixture of uh, excitement and uh, anticipation. Okay, now it is, and it was beautiful experience for sure. That They're was awesome. my favorite part, yeah. Awesome, yeah, I mean, it's always it's always exciting to, to do a show at, at Michael's Combat Millennium because it's such a big production. Yeah. So it, uh, we always treat it almost as a, just a separate event from all of our shows and use this as kind of, we have the backup dancers, Michael and Pam are so creative. Let's just make, see what comes up here and let's have fun with that because we dance our other shows all the rest of the year. So this was fun tonight. We, we got to dance our rumba and our own samba as well, which is always fun. But uh, yeah, it's, 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 it's great to be here always. It's an amazing event, so we're happy to be invited here. Listen, can I ask you, who creates your shows, by the way? Like, do you do it yourself and then you go somewhere to polish it? Or, uh, or, or just Ina? <laughs> just, just you know, uh, to be fair, like, we, it, it, it's very different. It's very different, but this, this she is the creative soul. <laughs> she is the crea creativity and she has the vision. And um, we very much work from the music first. Uh, we found a piece that we fall in love with and then we start working from there. It's usually, I, I, I do the editing myself, so I usually do the editing. And while I'm editing, she, she already creates the ideas. Big respect for that, that's cool. Yeah, because in that way we just know we want exactly at that point, maybe we can layer it, the build-ups and so on. So we like to, to, to be in charge of that ourselves. Yeah. So, uh, but to answer your question, it's very different. It, sometimes it just comes like this and we suddenly created a show in like in a practice. Yeah. Because it just, the energy just, sometimes we ask some of our, our, our teachers and the choreographers and they help us inspire, maybe just the beginning or the end of the, pro so it's really a creative process and we can't lock us down to one concept that works because if it doesn't work, you will panic then. Okay. So you just have to like really, that's where you have to switch off the competitive, the productive, the, the, the kind of getting things done and let that go and let's say, okay, now what? And we always and, then, and we always work on our mood board, you know, whenever we are fully mood, I'm sorry, mood board? Mood board. It's like a it. big board where you can have a lot of ideas basically. Children lesson. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Color, <laughs> dynamics, uh, costumes, music, and then we store them. So sometimes we go back in our files of four or five me? years, no, four or five years, and then we pull out something we've saved back then, and we feel today's, now is the moment to actually pull it out and do it. This is the same way when we did the Schindler's List rumba, it's been sitting in our playlist for probably six or seven years. We were not ready to do it, and then we danced it. Knew that you're doing that, it's amazing. Oh, yes, because we, you were... We've been dancing together for 15 years as 16, well. We're 16, 16. I mean, we have so much first time library. We First time in, in ever I hear this somebody crazy mood board for that is amazing. <laughs> well, it's, as you say, like it's it's just to really um, it's just storing ideas in yeah. different ways, and we are we work in different ways. Like some work on visuals, some work on listening, some like being like, explained. And I actually realized as well that I at least changed throughout my career as well. So sometimes I had to understand it to do it. Now I have to maybe feel it more or see it. So once by doing a, um, a mood board, or like it actually stimulates the different senses as well. It's really, so it's really fun to and, do and it. And then we do a lot of recording as well. Like we have done a choreography for a samba show and that show never worked. Now we looked and it's yeah. like, oh, it actually worked for our new jive. So then suddenly we just... Samba becomes a jive. Okay. Just like the intro, like that's okay, where, yeah, that's how we got with Michael as well. He had this uh, marching band idea yesterday with like yeah, the tech music, that, yeah. and he said, "Can you do Paso?" So the first thing we just did, we literally did our Paso routine, and we just listened to the music and made it adapt to that. So that's suddenly a different challenge. So now when we go back to dance our routine, maybe we have adapted a different dynamic or a different feel that that music gave us. This is guys so cool. <laughs> Children, listen. Okay, uh, Millennium Dust Sport Championship 2022, guys. Thank you for your time. So, thank so you. appreciative. You're so kind of and course. so happy to see you throughout the years how you matured as a as a professional since I'm older. So, <laughs> <laughs> lovely to see you. Thank you for everything. Guys, keep checking YouTube, Instagram, and Facebook. Uh, those guys are everywhere.